Hi, Grace Baptist Church. I'm Scott, one of the elders here, and I'm here to talk to you about being a good neighbor. As we think about being a good neighbor, there were a couple of people that asked the question in the Bible, who is my neighbor? Well, we know it to be pretty much anybody that we see in front of us. And so when we think about who our neighbors are, it's who we would call the near near, which would be those that live close to us and are also close to us in culture. So physically close and culturally close. We think about the near far, which are the people who live physically close to us, but have a different culture than we do. We think about the far far, and that would be the people in other countries that are a long way away from us and are culturally very different. And also we think about the far near, and those would be the people that physically live a long way away from us, but are very near to us culturally. And so one of the challenges is, is to ask God, hey God, how, how do I reach into the lives of neighbors in each of these four areas? One of the things that um, we like to do in our house is we like to get our mind right uh, to, to gird ourselves with uh, the belt of truth, as it were. And so the way that we do that is through daily devotions. And so we're reading our Bible, and if you come by my house, usually around 5 o'clock in the morning, sometimes earlier, it was about 2.30 the other morning, um, sometimes later, whatever, but you'll usually see me and I'm sitting in my front room reading my Bible and, and praying and that's just simply uh, to continue to be transformed by the renewing of my mind through the power of the Word. And, and if, uh, if you recall, Pastor Mark likes to talk about the the, um, the Word of God through the Spirit of God helps us to understand the mind of God. And with that in mind, uh, we're really trying to understand God's mind for us uh, in all times and, and especially the time that we're in right now. So um, what I'd like to talk about also is that in my house is that we have children, a number of them, um, children come and go in our house simply because we're we're part of a, a greater foster community and and uh, we seem to have friends in and out all the time and 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 that's really really good and and what we want to do there is we just want to continue to sow the seed of the word into our children's lives and and give them opportunities to take that word and apply it um, to their day to day, which I know that a lot of you do as well. And so, um, so some of the ways that we do that are we, we challenge them, we challenge their thinking. We say, hey, what would God have you do today? And so, so there are times when we get outside of our home and in this time now it's a little bit more challenging, but we're able to go on prayer walks, we're praying for our neighbors, we're praying for our community, we're praying for our nation. We've signed up for the hour-long prayer times that are on our website. Uh, you can sign up for as many of those per day as you want to, um, or you know, one per day over how many days the Lord calls you into that. And that's been, that's been super great to be able to do that. We have um, a six-year-old in our house right now, and, and he goes the distance. You know, God just built this culture in our home, and uh, so we get, we get people that are essentially, mostly today, are in the near-near. We've had some near-far in our, in our house as well, and, and every child that has ever come through our home in any kind of a living situation has been introduced to Jesus and, and has had the opportunity to, to learn how to pray and has, um, has grown in that. And so, so that's, that's really um, important. Um, the other thing that we do as good neighbors is we just, we reach out to our neighbors. We pass out bread, we pass out um, 
right now we we've got a bunch of applesauce we're passing that out and just trying not to hold on too tightly to anything that the lord has given us you know just always trying to be on mission for him and his purpose and and to be a good steward of the things that he's given us and that just comes from just a strong desire we just we just want to know jesus we just want to see jesus in the land of the living we want to see the holy spirit just reach into the lives of of those around us and those that we come into contact with and so as we're walking around, we're praying, even in conversation, we're praying, we're saying, God, what is it that you wanna to say to this person? God, how can I love this person? God, what, what fire do you wanna to light today? What, how, how can we just respond to what you're calling us to and so that the world would be impacted for eternity? And I know that a lot of people at Grace Baptist are that way. We just, we just wanna live for the Lord and, and uh, it's, it's really a wonderful, wonderful environment to be in just to to walk with with all of you on this journey that we call life you know i like to say that we're going to live live either way so i i challenge myself i challenge my family um i'll just put this out there to you today you're going to live either way so what do you want to see you know it's it, it's kind of it's kind of awesome and then every now and then god just he gives you a glimpse of himself. Somebody gets healed. Somebody comes to Jesus. I mean, it's it's amazing. And God does it, right? I mean, you and I, I mean, I reach in my own pockets. I got nothing. There's nothing there. There's nothing good in me. But the power of God just working through the lives of his people, that's where the excitement is. That's how we find out who our neighbor is. That's how we gain this, this spirit of God and, and this love that, that just blows your mind, right? Just completely blows your mind and he, and he just does things that are, that are amazing. And so um, with that, I'm gonna let you go, but before I do, know that you're always welcome in my home. You're always welcome to reach out. Um, and um, I'd love to talk to you about anything for any length of time at any day we'll uh we'll take god's time and we'll use that okay god bless you